I'm Al Rounds, and I'd like to tell you about my painting of the Sacred Grove. Now this painting actually I did many years ago, and it started out with uh, me having the desire to want to do a painting of the 14-year-old Joseph Smith and uh, have it be as he was walking out to the grove. So what, what was the terrain like? What was uh, the view that he would have had as he was walking out to the grove? Um, so I prepared a trip. Uh, I studied about it. I met with the uh, church historians. I found out exactly what time of year that he went there. Um, we know that he went probably in the first week of April. And so I planned a trip where I was there the last week of March and uh, through uh, the first part of April. And uh, I got there and was all ready to go with all the things I needed to go with. And something happened that I was not prepared for. That in upstate New York in the first week of April, it is very, very cold and it is definitely still winter time and there were no leaves on the trees. And I would go through the grove in the morning, I'd go through in the afternoon, I'd climb uh, the hills around there, uh, I would check everything out, and the only thing I really remember about that trip was how cold I was the whole time because I definitely was not prepared for the cold. But it taught me a lot about the grove itself and about Joseph Smith and even his personality. It was really interesting. Uh, I learned that he wouldn't have been in shirt sleeves. I, I mean, I was freezing the whole time I was there. And there's no way that Joseph went into the grove in shirt sleeves. He would have probably had a heavy coat on. Uh, he could have had a blanket over his shoulders and probably had a blanket over his shoulders. Uh, it was very common for people at that time to have blankets uh, on them everywhere in town. It wasn't... Uh, a uh, uh, you know, bad thing to do or anything. It was just a real common thing. And the other thing was is how high the water table was in that area. So, I mean, like, I was wet clear up to here uh, as I would tromp through the grove and tromp through different areas looking for these scenes. So it told me that Joseph would have uh, probably been very cold by, by the time that this whole thing started. And one of the other interesting things about that time period that I learned from Don Enders at the church was that it was probably on a Sunday. Sunday was the only day that they did not work in the fields. Now they did chores. You, you would get up and they were hard workers every day of the week. But they did not go to the fields on Sunday. They would do their regular chores. So more than likely, it was Sunday that was the day that he went because no one would have been there. And he would have been all by himself. It's recorded that he went to a place where they'd been working the day before. And there's no way a 14-year-old boy would want to kneel down and pray out loud, thinking about someone else maybe coming into the, into the forest and um, you know disturbing him. So probably Sunday morning. Um, the other thing that was, as I started thinking about it, is how symbolic spring is. Uh, uh, it, you know, it typifies a, a new beginning, all things starting anew. And what a perfect time for Joseph Smith to have that experience. So I've tried to portray of him walking out. I've tried to show the high water table that's there and he probably would have been wet by the time he got out there. They had uh, been working where they had been in an area and been clearing the fields of trees and then, then he went into the grove. And uh, this is one of my favorite paintings. I think, to me, it symbolizes peace. And it has, uh, through the years, it has been a great symbol of peace to a lot of people. Thank you very much for watching this video of the Sacred Grove. If you like this video, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. 
Shop in store at our gallery located in City Creek or online at owlrounds.com.